You cannot go into battle with unproven armor. And David said to Saul, I cannot go with these, for I have not proved them. And David put them off him. Guys, don't let somebody else give you reasons or give you a method or a mechanism to go to war with, to fight this, this, these battles. Because the same, watch this, David didn't have Saul's armor when he faced the lion. David didn't have Saul's armor when he faced the bear. So why would David say, why would I need that now? See, don't let nobody change the, when you, how you depended on God for every victory he took you through. God delivered you the first way. Don't let somebody else tell you you should try something else and try to get your deliverance that way. See, what do I need to conquer Goliath? Go with me to Ephesians 6.10. This is the armor. David said, I have improved that armor. See, that armor don't work. This is the armor I need, Ephesians 6.10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Next verse. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Verse 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Next verse. Wherefore, take unto you the whole arm of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand. Watch this. Therefore, having your loins girded about with truth, Having on the breastplate of righteousness. Next verse. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Next verse. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Next verse. Verse 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplication. Watch this. In the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. That's the armor you need to put on. Watch this. Don't put on Saul's failed armor that's never been tested. You have, look, all you need to self is close yourself in the armor of God. That's what gave you the first victories. Put on the armor of God. Don't put on some armor somebody else put on and tell you, put this armor on. You want me to put on armor that you don't even believe in. Don't let somebody tell you to put on something or try or use something to win the battle with when that thing won't even work for them. Stay with God. Stay with the Lord. He was the one that won the victory. He showed you. Stay with how he did it. Stay with him. He will give you the victory.